Hi there, back again. As you can see, I have a Gerber knife here on the table. Um, <clears throat> this is a knife that I've had for about a month, so I have a pretty good experience with it. Uh, this is known as the Highbrow Compact. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple of things uh, real quick about the knife, um, and then kind of go into a fairly thorough review on it. So, uh, again, this is the Highbrow Compact. Um, I'll go ahead and pop her open. So, uh, you have a slide lock right here. Uh, moves pretty easy. You have a finger flipper on the outside. Uh, it's pretty well assisted open opening. Um, definitely flops open there pretty good. Uh, has a drop point blade, and the blade is made of 7CR. 17 uh, stainless steel. Um, the handle here is made out of aluminum. Well, it's, and it's anodized with a gray color. So it looks very sharp. I'll give it that. Uh, it has an ambidextrous steel pocket clip here. Um, also, also has a little lanyard loop here. So uh, then you have a pivot lock here. So when you have the knife flipped open, you have to pull this back. It has a tab on both sides here, and that allows you to fold it into a safe mode again. And then you're able to flip on that safety. Uh, so let's go into a, a review. As I said, I've had this for uh, a little over a month now. Um, one thing I want to note, <laughs> The anodized aluminum, it holds up pretty good. As you can see, I got a couple nicks in here. Um, just general getting beat around, using a lot. So it is what it is. Um, it's to be expected. I mean, a metal finish will wear. So I won't knock it on that. And I'd say for general appearance, uh, this knife is very pleasing to the eye. It's compact. Um, looks nice. So... And again, uh, it has a lot going for it. So uh, let me go into some of the issues I've had. Uh, when I first picked this knife up, the slide lock here was very gritty and it almost felt like it didn't really want to click into safe. As you can see now, it's, it's loosened up pretty well and seems to be working very good. Uh, but it's definitely not like a positive lock, uh, so it doesn't really lend itself to being securely in a locked position. Um, I would think some fairly light touching would get it out of locked position. Uh, another thing to note, and this isn't a big deal, uh, just the clip keeps loosening up. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of worked here and wore away some of the finish. But again, not a big deal. That's easily tightened. Um, so really my biggest complaint with this knife uh, by far has been the blade quality. Um, as you can see on the edge here, I've sharpened this again. Uh, and there's still a couple nicks in there. Uh, I basically use this for <laughs> a couple hours one day and I was cutting some zip dice and stuff and the blade was basically trashed. I had to run it and clean it and clean through it. Um, not really overly impressed with the blade quality on here. I've had many Gerbers in the past and it never really seemed to be a, a large issue per se. Um, I, I know they're more of a discount knife, but uh, yeah, so that's just something to know. Um, is this my favorite knife? No. Uh, would I recommend it? Depends. Uh, I, I just, with the quality and how the issue I've had with the blade uh, nicking so very easily, um, I'm not really sure. And this isn't an overly cheap knife. I paid $40 for this. Uh, and I, you can find a little cheaper here and there, whatever. But um, generally just not a very high quality knife. So I would have to say that I do not recommend uh, picking this up. Uh, I wish I could like it a lot more. I think that if they got this slide lock 
down a little bit better, a little bit more positive. I don't know how they would do that. And maybe this is, you know, broke. Maybe it's not supposed to be like that. Maybe it's supposed to be a little bit more positive, but that's how it's been since I picked it up. Uh, and then if they could just, just make the blade quality just a little better, uh, and make it a little harder to steal or something, um, then I think it would be a fairly decent home run. Uh, like I said, it's compact, uh, great to throw in your pocket, and that's what I've done. I've continued to carry it and use it, uh, but like I said, uh, you definitely have to sharpen it quite a bit. Uh, and I'm sorry if it doesn't pick it up, but it, it does. I have quite a few little chunks out there, and just uh, generally how the blade's wearing is pretty rough. So, but all right. Uh, well, that's my opinions on the Gerber Highbrow Compact. Um, thank you for watching, and let me know what you think.